I am Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What part do damaged fallopian tubes play in infertility? Let's try to understand the role that it plays. To understand the role, you have to understand the anatomy of a female uh, reproductive system uh, slightly. So there is a uterus and on either side of the uterus are two ovaries and connected to the ovaries are two tubes. Now this is not like a tunnel where the the egg is released from the ovaries and it goes into the tube. It is like an open end. The tubes are open ends over the ovaries and once the egg is released, by the action of the end of the tube, the egg is pulled inside the tube. Now the whole action, the whole play, the whole role play is happening inside the tube as in the egg and the sperm meet inside the tube. The fertilization of the egg and the sperm happens inside the tube. The embryo is formed inside the tube on day 2, day 3, day 4 and on day 5 in at which stage it is called a blastocyst the embryo reaches uh, the uterus and it implants there so from this you understand the tubes play a very important role in uh, pregnancy and if the tubes are blocked whether it is one tube or both chance of success does come down if it is just one side then you understand that your chance of success has reduced by 50% isn't it because the side that is blocked is of no use if that side the egg is growing the ovary on the blocked side is producing an egg so your chance of success is more only when you are ovulating on the side that the tube is open in such cases yes you can definitely try naturally the side that is uh, you know open can definitely give you a pregnancy also studies have revealed that even if you have one single blocked tube it does not mean that you can't get pregnant if the ovary on the blocked end is uh, producing an egg there are chances of pregnancy at that time also but for iui also you can try when you have one single block tube provided the egg is growing on the side that the tube is open bilateral tubal blockage or when both sides of the tubes are blocked then it is advised that you go for ivf even still people want to try laparoscopy it is a gold standard of tubal blockage where the tubes are tried to remove by laparoscopic procedures and there is a 20 percent chance that you might get pregnant if not you can go for IVF. The success with tubal blockage depends on what kind of tubal blockage you have and uh, if both the tubes are blocked or not. So there are some important causes that we should talk about. Pelvic inflammatory disease and infection of the uterus and fallopian tubes due to chlamydia, gonorrhea or other sexually transmitted infections. Previous surgery in the abdomen or pelvis including surgery for ectopic pregnancy in which a fertilized egg implants and develops Somewhere other than the uterus, usually in the fallopian tube, can also cause blockages of the tube and therefore result in infertility. So these are a few um, you know, causes of tubal blockages or tubal pathology due to which you may not be getting pregnant. If you have such problems, if you want to understand your chance of success and want to understand more about the kind of tubal blockage that you have and your treatment options, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.